former police officer Derek Chauvin has been found guilty by a Minneapolis jury for the murder of George Floyd. Guilty on all three counts, the end of deliberations came one day after the closing arguments and rebuttals in the three-week trial were presented by defense lawyers and the prosecution on April 19 in Hennepin County District Judge Peter Cahill's courtroom. Along with CNN Fox News and MSNBC, broadcast networks ABC, CBS and NBC all covered the more than six hours of the end of Chauvin's trial in almost its entirety. Facing a decade or more behind bars, Chauvin was charged with second-degree murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter. Ranging in age from their 20s to their 60s, the 12-person jury was made up of three black men, two white men, one black woman, four white women, and two women who referred to themselves as mixed race. Seeking a unanimous conclusion, jurors could have convicted the accused Chauvin of all of the charges or none at all. Now with the guilty verdict in, the amount of time Chauvin will actually serve will be determined in about two months after a pre-sentencing report, other processes and possible special circumstances are presented to Judge Cahill. After the verdict was announced, Chauvin's bail was revoked and he was taken into custody immediately. Chauvin, wearing a mask, was led away from the courtroom in handcuffs. As the verdicts were read, he did not show any emotion as he glanced over at the judge. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris called George Floyd's family after Derek Chauvin guilty verdict Ben Crum, attorney for George Floyd's family, said in a statement, painfully earned justice has arrived for George Floyd's family and the community here in Minneapolis, but today's verdict goes far beyond this city and has significant implications for the country and even the world. Justice for black America is justice for all America, the lawyer added. Today, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, BBC America and even ESPN, among others, all covered the reading of the verdict in the lead-up live. Even before the jury's decision was made public, NBC News bumped Days of Our Lives on the West Coast and went live with a Lester Holt-hosted special report. ABC and CBS stayed with regular scheduled programming until the jurors actually returned to the Gopher State courtroom. Arrested under suspicion on May 25, 2020 of using a counterfeit $20 bill at a store in the Minnesota city's Powderhorn Park neighborhood, 46-year-old Floyd died soon after screaming for Mama as Chauvin thrust his knee into the handcuffed ex-security guard's neck for 9 minutes and 29 seconds in the street. Seemingly unconcerned with the public response to the situation as it tragically unfolded, Chauvin was caught on multiple cell phone cameras committing the act as two other junior officers helped hold Floyd down and a third prevented onlookers from intervening.